Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Wednesday, October the 27th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Libra? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star, star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cutting the deck for Libra. Spirit. Nine of Pentacles, single because I want to be single. Nine of Pentacles, Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is independent, grounded, balanced, stable, a business person, makes their own money, takes care of their money, single because they want to be single. What is crossing this? Nine of Cups, my two favorite nines. This is self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is single because you know you deserve someone just as fantastic as you. And you are willing to wait. This is emotional independence. This is the, this is the kind of energy you need to be in in order to attract your person. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Emotional intelligence. Consciously known. Oh, the King of Passion. King of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The king of wands is good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy, exciting. Aries, Leo, Sag. Unconscious. The world, the world, the world talks about the end of a cycle. And the next card is the fool, which is the beginning of a beautiful new journey. Recent past, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Money. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See his uh, bag of money. The Knight, he's ground and balance, stable, business person, makes their own money. Um, but the Knight of Swords is a less mature energy than a King or Queen, let's say. And this is a very, very slow moving energy, step by step by step. This person takes a long time to make an offer. Near future. Ten Pentacles! Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ultimate financial abundance. This is the happy family, couple, maybe children, pets, a house, property, ultimate financial abundance. Ten of Pentacles. That's in your future. Nice. Where do you find yourself? Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Three of Cups talks about happiness, friendship, um, reunion. These p three people probably haven't seen each other for a while and they're getting back together and having drinks. Reunion. Cups are water energy. Counts Pisces Scorpio. External influences. The High Priestess. I like the High Priestess. She is sitting strong, sitting in her power, knows her worth. Um, she is empathic. She is intuitive. She knows how to figure people out. She got a book here, candles. I like the way this crown, uh, throne looks. Um, she got her scepter in her hand. Um, in some decks, she has got tarot cards, a crystal ball, a black cat. So the High Priestess is that kind of energy. I like the High Priestess. She's Oh, and Divine Feminine. Hopes and or fears. Page of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pages are Messengers. This is a money message. Oh, yes. See the bag of money. Overall outcome. The King of Swords. Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Swords. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. So, 
You need to bring the King of Swords on its clear communication, or he will use that sword to cut you right out of his life. Makes head over heart decisions. Although if you are honest and clear with the King of Swords, he will be very loving and loyal. But he's gonna tell it like it's it like it is. Bottom of deck, the tower. The tower is a cataclysmic change that you cannot prepare for. The tower has to fall because it was not built on a firm foundation. Once the tower build, tower falls, you can rebuild, but on a solid foundation this time. Ooh, the lovers! There, yep, Nine of Cups. The lovers. Gemini energy. I like this lovers card because there's only two people, not more, in this card. Uh, they've got a lockbox inside of this. This may be a commitment ceremony. I love the uh, toothpaste or key with wings. The lovers. Soulmates. Page of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries Leo Sag. Pages are messengers. This is a passionate message. He's got his wand here. Sitting on a screen. Queen of Love. Queen of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. See the hearts. And her beautiful red and silver brooch. She's loving. She's caring. She's compassionate. She's a nurturer. She's a good partner. She's a good parent. And the Hierophant. Engagement. Commitment, perhaps. The Hierophant is all about order, tradition, stability. Increase in level of commitment. Could be a uh, engagement here. I like the spirit board. The Hierophant. So we had single because I want to be single. Single because I know I deserve someone just as great as I am. King of passion. End of a cycle. The Knight of Money, Ultimate Financial Abundance, Friendship, the High Priestess, Witchy kind of energy, a Money Message, the King of Swords, the Lovers, Passionate Message, Queen of Love, Commitment. And we had a tower here. Let us see. Love cards. Wedding. Situation involves marriage. The Hierophant. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Heart-to-heart -heart heart -to -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. See what Colleen ha or Colette has to say. Not for you. Something is not for you. Maybe this tower. Fork in the road. You need to choose a path. Bottom of the deck, imagine. Maybe what you want is coming to you. This is my Nostradamus deck of Major Arcana. The Chariot. The Chariot talks about moving forward. And it also talks about a fork in the road and needing to choose a path. Bottom of the deck. The Judgment. Looks like this is positive karma for you. All right, we had Minor Arcana Empress, Self Love, Self Worth, Self Esteem, King of Passion, Ultimate Abundance in Money, Ultimate Financial Abundance, The High Priestess, Soulmates, Lovers, Queen of Love. Engagement, possibly. Wedding, attraction, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Fork in the road. Imagine. The judgment. And the chariot. All right, Libra. Have a great evening. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.